those cases are in the near future. For WUSA 9, I'm Jess Arnold. All right, Jess is going to stay on top of that one. Still a lot of questions. All right, in Montgomery County tonight, the council is considering a bill to freeze people's rent. The measure would take effect during anything considered a health emergency like the one we're in right now. The emergency could be declared by either the governor or the county executive. A vote on that bill could come later this week. Well, since Charles County Public Schools closed last month, the school's nurses have been keeping busy, now working from home instead of their schools. They are answering calls that come into the county health department's call center. There are close to 50 school nurses answering the call center's phones lines seven days a week. The nurses use their expertise to provide health information and emotional support to Charles County residents. Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. Chester Lampkin joining us uh, live from home again, and I feel like a lot of people took your advice from last night, Chester, and actually got out today. Driving into work, I saw people biking, running, just going out for a walk. Felt like old times again. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see that, and the spring weather will do that for, for folks. I saw a lot of people outside, too, Lorenzo, and several of them had masks on, which is the right thing to do. You want to make sure that you stay healthy if you're going to be out. If you have to be out on Monday, it's not quite as nice. But there will be a lot of dry time, especially in the afternoon here in D.C. So D.C., you may get a quick splash or a sprinkle or two during the morning hours, especially in the Virginia side of the metro and down in the southern Prince George's County. But if you look farther south, I've brought up the Fredericksburg forecast just to show you guys have a better chance for rain the farther south you live. So down through the Fredericksburg area, down through southern Maryland, there will be showers for a good chunk of the morning. A light soaking, if you will, and our future cast supports that. A cloudy night here. There's the rain trying to get in here 5 in the morning, but I think the showers really don't start for most areas until 6, 7 o'clock. And some of those light showers may make it as far north as the Beltway. And when I say the north, northern part of the metro, I mean maybe as far north as Montgomery County and northern parts of Prince George's County, like Laurel and up toward Rockville. But for the most part, this is a southern storm system. So Fredericksburg, Lexington Park, California, places like that will get a lot more rain than, say, Manassas or Gaithersburg or up towards Frederick and Hagerstown probably won't see anything. Neither will Martinsburg. And so it's a bit of a cloudy day ahead. Cool in the morning with a few showers, and we don't warm up a ton tomorrow. Highs will probably get to about 60 in D.C., and we may squeeze out some sunshine west of the metro uh, by the afternoon hours. Tuesday, we watch for a few showers and a couple thunderstorms as well, especially in the afternoon as a cold front sweeps across the DMV. That'll clear away for Wednesday. We get one dry day for sure this week. That's Wednesday because Thursday we've got more rain in the forecast. Thursday afternoon and evening showers and yeah, maybe even a few thunderstorms around as a, an area of low pressure moves through the area and that'll bring us those rain chances right on through uh, the Friday time period. So yeah, we're keeping an eye on that. In the meantime, it's an inch, inch and a half of rain this week. Most of the rain, most of this rain will fall Thursday and Friday. So that's something we'll be tracking time enough for you throughout the week. Here's that seven day outlook. Cool on Monday. Watch for an early shower, especially south of D.C. Tuesday is dry at first with some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And then Wednesday. Wednesday is the only day I can promise will be completely dry across the area because we have more rain heading into the area for Thursday, especially in the afternoon. And at night, there could be some decent downpours. More rain Friday. And though I've left Saturday dry for now, there could even be a few showers around Saturday. And I've kept the showers in the forecast for Sunday. And all these temperatures in that seven-day outlook, below average for this time of year. We should be around 68 for the high, and we'll stay cooler than that throughout the next seven days. Back to you. Jeez, well, that weather certainly makes it easier to stay inside. Thank you, Chester. We'll be grateful for Wednesday. All right, he's one of NASCAR's top drivers and one of the Redskins' biggest fans. What Virginia native Denny Hamlin has to say about the upcoming NFL draft. Our Charlotte McBride is up next with sports. Hi. It's not much. One syllable, two letters. But for such a small word, it can make a big difference. It can make a loved one smile, rekindle an old friendship, and grandma, well, it would probably make grandma's day. It won't change the world, but it can make someone's world a little brighter. We all need a little extra help right now, and WUSA 9 is here to